This is a letter to Nigeria's first time visitor. Nigeria, the trailer country. Welcome to Nigeria, the trailer country. Let me give you a quick tour of the country. Ordinarily, Minister Lai, our information minister, should do it. But he's still busy with the uh, hashtag NSAS martyrs almost two months after. So I'm helping him today. Dear visitor to Nigeria, be not bewildered that in our cities, trailers compete with smaller cars for space on both the highways and the inner city roads. Although we've had fatalities that had necessitated laws restricting articulated vehicles to particular times of the morning and night within the cities, our elites who you will soon start hobnobbing with have made the laws of no effect. It's the same elites who own the trucks who disobey the law. Our roads are the best, according to Minister Raji Fashola. It's just that many of them are death traps. Some of them have been under construction for years. Others collapse right after inauguration. It is as bad as your car needing alignments every other week and you needing to dodge portals in the middle of a highway. Yet, you must arm yourself in your car with the certificates of roadworthiness. Trumps. <laughs> You expect too much. Let me apologize to you for your own naivety. That might be possible when we borrow from perhaps Yugoslavia because we're no longer credit worthy in China. As for a rail network, the heavily glamorized Abuja Kaduna rail route is experiencing hiccups. Except you want to experience a train stop in the middle of nowhere. Think twice before taking the train to Nevada. And yes, you will spend all of two hours avoiding the bad routes on the Lagos Ibado Expressway if you took the train. Hopefully, you won't be the only passenger at a pricey 3,000 naira or 6,000 naira. Even with the bad routes, the road trip on the average is two hours. So I'm, I honestly can't explain why Nigeria bought a train that does Lagos Abuja in two hours or Lagos Ibado in two hours. As for Lagos City, Join the rest of us in hoping the light blue rail in Lagos will go operational by 2023. It's an election year and politicians will need to con and convince us that they will do better if elected. We usually believe them. It's a trailer country without trailer parks. So they line the roads and cause mindless traffic at Apapa, Shagam, Ore, Ibadan and many other places in the country. You will have to fly to escape the trailers. Although, even your flight is not guaranteed, it could be delayed for longer than it takes you to travel by road. The truth is, our elites travel in private jets. Those delays are alien to them. Perhaps when next you visit, our electric cars will be on the roads. Governor Sowolu of Lagos toyed with one the other day. It's just that unless the car charges with solar energy, you may be grounded even before your journey starts. Welcome to Nigeria again. Heed my travel advisory. Um, then let me borrow your words. Um, I, I quite agree with you. Um, it's a very lovely travel advice. And this is the best way to advise anybody about Nigeria to avoid, you know, falling, you know, prey to hate speech. You know, talk. Uh, talk, you know. Thank you. Um, that's the best way to go about it. Just let people know that uh, Nigeria is not bad, though. It's, it's a not. very great place to live in. Just yes, that the roads, you have trailers on the road, but they, won't, they, won't, they won't bother you. You know, they will mind their business, but they will cause traffic, you know. And so you can fly, but if you want to fly, they, will, they delay you at the airport. Don't complain because... You know, somebody that is going by the bad road can not get there before you, but it's okay. Oh it's, it's, uh, it's quite understandable. Um, and then, um, mind you, you know, the minister is very busy. You know, there are issues. You. you know, CNN is busy, you know, doing wow. the fake like news the stories. And, um, you know, you, you you know but beat. really, quickly, sorry, for, uh, but really, it's um, why this thing is funny and laughable. But you ask yourself, these same people, they travel, they send their children abroad, yeah. and then they come back, they promise these things. Is it that 
after promising they go to sleep? Or is it that we are the ones sleeping? Well, failing to, to hold them accountable. We're not holding them accountable. To do these things. I, I, it's, 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 what a mix, it's a mix of do? both, actually. Um, the, the portion I will disagree with you was about two hours to Ibadan. I it's have actually, done six before. It's actually four hours on a good day. I knew, I have a friend who was going for a party in Ibadan. No, no. Got on that the, road. Um, they were just waiting for him to arrive. I mean, he, he, he got to Ibadan at about 8 p.m. The party was totally over. <laughs> Um, well, uh, we are not talking about um, when you went there. <laughs> Do you know in this same Ibadan road, I used to, if I had a matter in court in Ibadan, court of appeal, I don't go to sleep in Ibadan. I leave here by 7 and I still get to court before 9. Here, you this same. That was yes. there. So, why do we have to make the road so bad and now bring a train that we do the same time it's that you, you spend on the road? And when um, China, the same China we are buying from, is doing bullet train. And, uh, I bet second base. Chuka. The choo choo train. <laughs> they, are, they, are buying, they are buying the 1950. Yeah. yeah. That's why. And so the whole thing is a joke. In this one program, this is why I like you advocate. The, we have agreed now that the Minister of Transport, Labor, Education, Fashola to some extent, are all bad and have failed just by everything we've discussed. And what it shows us is that it's not a thinking government, really. And all these men of, they're all grown. They're not small boys. I don't know if they're intelligent, naturally, but they're not doing much. I mean, the trains, really, Apapa should be closed down, Apapa port. It has no business being in Lagos. That Ibafon depot has no business being in Lagos. It should be shut down and moved elsewhere. And I will propose Ondo State so that a new city will grow in Ondo of about three to five million people. That will be where we will have a lot of port activities Chuka. and so on. You are talking of Ondo. You are talking of Ondo. Ondo. You remember those days, Shagam. Shagam used to be a very difficult. I'm talking not Shagam, um, um, Moe Bafo. When they were trailer parks, there used to be a very difficult place to park. As I speak to you now, Bini Bypass. Yes. If you pass through Bini Bypass because they have a trailer park there, you will swear that you will never go by road again. Mm. So mm. Nigeria shouldn't be a place. You can't have trailers without trailer park. Oh. Our papa had trailer parks, they but were they not have being sold used. them. They have sold them out. To they themselves. have concessioned them, and somebody will say they concession. How do you concession somebody's property to another person? And then you now say trailers should park on the road. And therefore, eternal, eternally, we are looking for how to now manage where to put trailer. You say, go and put them in Shagam. Then we blow whistle. You'll be coming to our papa. Please, please, please. Uh, our returnees, because uh, this is the season where you people usually come home. I don't want to hear shit, man. Shit. I, <laughs> I'm not for this advice, real. Come, let us enter traffic bring, bring together. The dollar. Bring the dollar. God, we bless you. We need the dollar for Christmas. We will take you around. I will chauffeur you. You know, wherever you are going to, please just come back. We are expecting you. God bless you. Thank you. <laughs> Finally, it's time to draw the curtains on this week's episode of The Advocate. However, the advocacy continues on our social media platforms on Facebook, Plus TV Africa, hashtag The Advocate in G, or on Twitter and Instagram at Plus TV Africa, hashtag The Advocate in G. To catch up with previous broadcasts, you can go to plustvafrica.com slash TheAdvocateNG. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Plus TV Africa. Till next week, same time on the station. Let's keep advocating for a better society. Bye bye. Now. This week. Bye. Bye. Five panelists, five topical issues, no holds barred. For me, it's not knowledge that's lacking, it's that greed, it's that mentality where you feel you deserve to take your own and take it infinitely and let everybody else just manage however they will manage. We're almost becoming hardwired to try and cheat. I would, you know, suggest that we begin to hold our leaders accountable. There was a time in this country when yes. things actually work. I don't think that any organization should be above the law. And I think one of the challenges we have in this country is about governance across the board. Well, well, what I'm saying is that it doesn't really affect us in Nigeria. I don't know what we can do if the system is already corrupted. We've been warned as a continent of the influx of the Chinese, 
If you don't repay your debt, they will just colonize you.